Okay, one of the most important principles that I will cover over and over and over again is called the 4-8 principle. In fact, I, I love the principle so much that I wrote a book about it. Um, so if you haven't read the book, or even if you have read the book, I want to share with you an illustration that I think will stick with you. See, one of my goals in the Super Focus program is to make everything that I share, everything that we cover together, really, really sticky. And it's sort of like the difference between, you know, a note card, a three by five card, and trying to stick it on a wall and it just sort of falls off, or a post-it note, and you've got it and you stick it on the whiteboard, maybe the board behind me, and it just stays on the board. And that's why I want to share, not only today, but in most of the sessions, I'm going to share a prop with you or some sort of visual, something that'll make the concepts and the principles that we're discussing stand out to you. So today, it's the 4-8 principle. As you can see here, I've got a jar full of golf balls. A couple other little balls in there, but it's mainly golf balls. And they represent something that I think you need to be aware of and stay tuned into. And that is the white golf balls represent or symbolize the good things in life. Uh, your blessings, the people that you love, uh, the victories you've had, the strengths and talents that you have, um, the things that you're glad are in your life. Uh, it's really all the positives. So that's what the white balls are. Um, but this entire jar is your life. And of course, life isn't all white. It's not all good. It's a mixture. Life is really a mixture of good and bad. And so the red golf balls represent the setbacks we've had, maybe the adversity that we're dealing with, uh, the problems in our life, the things that didn't work out the way that we wanted, whether it's a relationship or a, a, a business venture. Um, it could be uh, trauma or tragedy. So there, we all got some red golf balls, right? Um, the good news is, remember, we've all got white golf balls. We've all got good stuff in our life. So the 4-8 principle says that whatever we dwell upon, whatever we emphasize, determines how we feel. We feel what we dwell upon. We feel what we dwell upon. And so if you think constantly about your blessings, you'll tend to notice more of the white golf balls. You'll tend to notice more of your blessings. If you're somebody that sort of lays in bed and thinks about their red golf balls, they think about the problems of life and the disappointments and so forth, then you, you will actually see more red golf balls in your day-to-day -day existence. You'll see more red golf balls in your relationships, with your friendships, with your work life and every, you know, family life, everything. So as we go through the Super Focus program, I'm going to train you a little bit, little bit by little bit about keeping your focus on the right things because we all have deficiencies. Uh, we all have things that are broken or missing, but we also all have strengths and blessings and abundance and things that are wonderful. I, I sometimes say it like this, you know, we're better off than you know, several billion people on the planet, right? I know, I know that if you are participating in the Super Focus program, you're better off than several billion people on the planet. Now, there, there might be a, a million or so that are better off than you, but that's always going to be the case. So remember, the white golf balls are the good stuff. The red golf balls are the not-so-good stuff. And we always have a choice. Are we going to focus on and emphasize the red or the white? So there's a third color in here, and it's pink. And pink is, is what happens when, you know, we focus too much on the negative. This is the tricky part. I want to make sure you're listening to this. This is so key. If we think too much about the problems and difficulties and disappointments in our life, the red golf ball, then even the blessings that we have, what used to be, what used to be white golf balls start to take on the color of disappointment, uh, discouragement, and defeat. And that's just because of the principle, which is whatever we dwell upon grows in our experience, especially our emotional experience. Whatever, whatever we emphasize emotionally, we experience more of. Whatever we emphasize mentally with our thoughts, we experience more of emotionally. So we can't, we can't do anything about, you know, the fact that there'll be some red, and we're glad that we have a lot of white, but if we dwell too much on the broken, 
then more of our life looks broken. We go through our day and we see more brokenness. If we do this with a spouse, for example, and I'll talk more about this throughout the Super Focus program, if, if we think about our spouse's positive qualities and they're a white golf ball, and we, we think about our spouse's not so positive qualities and it's a red golf ball, well, the more airtime, the more attention that we give to our spouse's red issues, you know, and we've all got issues, the more time that we focus on that and dwell upon that, the more of the cool stuff, the more of the stuff that was maybe the reason that you married the person in the first place, the more of that stuff actually turns pink. It actually loses its luster. It loses its color. And it doesn't have to be that way. So I could just show you this illustration. It'll probably stick with you pretty good, at least for a while. But we're not going to stop there. Every single session, just about every single session from this point forward, I'm going to force you, as best I can do, I'm going to force you as your coach to think about the positives in your life before we begin every single coaching session. So I hope you'll do it more than that, but at a minimum, every time you turn on and tune into a new session, I'm going to push you in a different way to think about the positives, to think about the things that are forayed in your life. So let this be something that is sticky with you. And remember that whatever you focus upon grows. And when you focus on joy and goodness, you, you produce more joy, give more joy, and create more joy in your life. And that is a very, very cool thing.